So here we're visiting the uh, Millbrook Railroad again, and uh, we've got an interesting load this time. A 3D printer. We're going to make some tie plates and see if we can make them work. And here we go. I think it's on now.
glad we can't go into the workshop yet. So we're going to go grab the snowplow, and we thought we needed the snowplow pin, but we didn't. So we went down and then back again. Aaron bets that I'll derail on this turn somewhere. Let's see if it happens. Probably in this section up here. Oh, look at that. We derailed. <clears throat> it's a good thing I have chains on today. Just the front wheel. Let's see if I can get this where it needs to be. Sorry, did I say front? I meant back. There we go, now we're on again. Open ourselves up again. Bring her back. Yay! Let's resume. heavy. Hmm. I think it's just the front. Let's see here. Yeah, just that end. Okay. Let's see if we can just pick it up and fix it. Oh man, this thing's heavy. Closer? No. Okay, now it's probably too far to the other side. Bingo. <laughs> Can't win. And it was around this time that I realized I needed two hands. Okay. Got one. Oh. Onwards. The other way. Please don't derail. Okay. I think we're past that. Oh, only the rest of the railroad to go.
Got the pin? Yeah. All right, we're going the other way. We need the pin for the plow. Da 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 da. <laughs> Chugged through a little bit of it, but. back on.
Oh, I gotta grab the skates. Skate. There it is. Oh, tie plates. Tie plates. I'll come a little closer. I'm rolling backwards. So Aaron is using a batch of uh, 3D printed tie plates that we did earlier in the day. And while we were waiting for the 3D printer to print more, we uh, took the snowplow out for a ride. These tie plates that he's installing right now, unfortunately, were not the right size, though, so we'll have to make more. Oh, super elevation. <laughs> is that what it is? Getting a little bit of super elevation out of this. Are you not going to do them on the other side? Not yet. Hmm. Doesn't need it yet. <laughs> these tie plates is uh, problematic. I'm too wide. Yeah, I'm too wide. Definitely too wide. Well, I guess I'll just stick this back together now. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> no, that's fine. As you can 
you can kind of see I've already got frosties. The way this winter has been has been terrible on the track. There was one back a little bit on the uh, on the curve. It kind of comes up on the left side. Yeah, it does. That's that's the worst one I've got right now. That's I think what derailed the flight car. You know, the nice thing is, is it's really not windy today, so you're not getting that, like, cold chill from it then. Yeah. That That's the nice do. part about it. The not so nice part about it is my back hurts terrible. Yeah. That's one thing I'm going to have to deal with soon. So, oops, did I just that in out of gauge yeah it's just almost just barely kind of close enough well when I roll over we'll find out <laughs> And if it doesn't work, we can try those 10 new ones we got coming. Yeah. Well, this section here, we're going to have to replace the ties. Yeah. Um, they're in pretty bad shape. Hmm. But we'll see. Uh, we'll see what this does. On the surface, it looks like a pretty good tie, too. Yeah, it's not. <laughs> Is that one of those flipped ties? What? Is that one of those flipped ties that uh, sees the second life upside down? Uh, they're all that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's that's the whole railroad. Well, not quite, but no, that's that's a majority of the ties. They're they're all relay. Yeah. I don't think these are going to work so well. It's a nice little experiment for right now, and we'll we'll see how well it works. But, uh, right about now. I don't have high hopes at the moment. There's going to be a hump there. Let's see if I derail. Oh, you can feel the hump. Yeah. It didn't derail though. On that pass. <laughs> oh goodness. <laughs> when Aaron hopped on that flat car, it really spooked me, and I didn't understand uh, how to accelerate or deaccelerate with him on it. You could definitely feel the change in performance from the locomotive, so I decided to just keep the same even speed until the sugar shack where he hopped off. They didn't even look up from their car, they were just... <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> even though there's an Amtrak at least twice a day?
think that buzzing noise is from the uh, phone holder. The locomotive is <laughs> resonating. <laughs> There's mushrooms growing in the track. Okay, parking time. Skates. Come on. Ta da! See y'all later. Time to go home. This was filmed at like 8 o'clock at night. In the dark. Doesn't this sound fun? Let's see how many times we derail. Hopefully, zero. I'm pushing the skate. <laughs> oh, wow, there's a lot of resistance here. That's weird. This is the trip back to the car. I originally suggested loading it into the car, uh, but it's too icy to get to the back of Aaron's house, so we decided to take it back by train, too. Alright. Off we go. Definitely off now. Just back. <clears throat> awesome. Let's couple the things. Continue. Some chance with the flashlight. Let's go. Let's look at the 
looks like it's moved a little. There we go. Putting this back on didn't make good video, so we cut it out. Oh, back. Alright. Let's continue. Slowly. Surely. spot the derails. Please do not derail.
So this is the tie plate that I designed in Fusion 360, and uh, it's based on the Pennsylvania Railroad 115 pound uh, rail tie plate. Um, so it's got those curves to it, and that's the profile.